I've been getting a lot of questions from teachers and from principals about this new A through F system from TEA. You know, I have too, Karen. It's, it's funny you should bring that up because that's one of our school board's goals for this year is for us to help explain this newest system to uh, our teachers, our parents, and our community. Well, great. How do you think we could go about doing that in a way that um, can make this complicated system easy to understand? Well, let's look. School districts and campuses are given an overall letter grade based on the performance in three different domains. Student achievement, student progress, and closing the gaps. In determining the letter grade A through F, we take the higher of the student achievement and school progress domains. Hopefully a school district or campus does well in both, but we only take the higher scores of the two. The higher of these two scores is factored at 70% of our letter grade. Then we take the score in the closing the gaps domain for the remaining 30%. For example, let's take a look at this slide and walk us through Midway ISD overall letter grade from 17-18 school year. In the student and achievement domain, Midway's score was a 92. In the school progress domain, the district scored an 87 in academic growth and scored an 85 in relative performance. Since the student achievement has a higher score, we calculate the 92 at 70% of our overall letter grade. Midway ISD scored a 95 in the closing the gaps domain, which is measured at 30% of our overall letter grade. Adding those two components together, Midway ISD earned a grade of 93, which is an A letter grade.